Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about a photography master. Her name is Sally Mann and you may have heard of her. She's pretty well known in the art world and I'm reading her book. I picked up her memoir that she just published called Hold Still and she's got a fascinating sort of crazy story and it's so unique and it's so tragic in ways and I'm only about a quarter of the way through it but it's just one of those characters that you if you get a chance to and can find it in the library or bookstore I bought it at a used bookstore you can really get a good sense of somebody's you know finding her way and and her little rebellious way and she's known for her 8x10 photographs of her family and she would photograph her kids she would photograph her family with this 8x10 camera but she would photograph them not just smiling at the camera not just portraits if one of them had a busted lip because they fell she would photograph that or if one of them was getting sick she would photograph that or if they were outside playing sometimes running around naked because they were in a farm field in Virginia in the summertime she would photograph that and she got some controversy out of the fact that she photographed her own children and she published them but I find her work incredible strong completely artistic at all times and I find her to be a, a, an inspiration to using large format to, to create scenes that if you shot those with a pocket digital or your phone, do they take on any importance? Do those same photographs exist without that camera? Because I'm a, I think the medium matters. You may have heard the old Marshall McLuhan line, they mentioned it in Woody Allen's Annie Hall, but the medium is the message. And the medium does matter. Shooting those pictures on film give them a, an added importance give them a timeless specialness. Those photographs printed and hung on the wall, they just look different than a digital picture nowadays from a DA-10. And the fact that she worked and she photographed the positive and the negative, the, the happy times and the real times and the difficult times and ordinary kids being ordinary kids. I just love her work and there's a lot of it online you can watch. Just I'll put some links in the in the comments below. And I think there's a good documentary I've seen. I'll put that in the links. And if you get a chance, pick up Hold Still. It's a good biography or memoir of her life as she grew up, how she met her husband, and how they moved to this farm and they made that their home. And she loved being a photographer and she documented her life very well. Talk about not needing to go far away to photograph, but just documenting her family. If we all photographed on 8x10 film or 4x5 film our families, what would our families look like? Hold still with those cameras. All right, that's today's photography talk. I'll put some links below and if you have any comments, put them below and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying these and I'll bring you some more. Thanks so much for watching.